Hi, family and friends of Almas Decor and Party Ideas. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because today I am going to be working on few crafts and I'm gonna also be styling two things for my brunch on Sunday. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a, we're gonna decorate a plastic tray uh, and we're gonna do a decorative plate for the lemon brunch. We're going to um, style a tear stand and we're gonna also make a tree, uh, tree stand, a, this like a tray, tree stand tray. And we're gonna also decorate a liter candy dispenser that I recycle. So I hope you join me and welcome to Alma's Decor and Party Ideas Craft Day. Okay, we're back and we're going to, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna find out the lemon print on our calendar, in our calendar, and we're gonna cut it, okay? We're gonna, the first thing we're gonna do is that we're going to paint our plastic plate and I'm using just regular all-purpose uh, acrylic paint from Hobby Lobby. And I go around and because we are going to uh, we are going to stick the print in the center of this plate, we are not gonna I'm not gonna go all over and paint all like the whole plate. I'm just gonna paint around around the plate. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let it dry and then we come back and at least I will say this plate will take at least uh, two or three coats, depending on how you like it. This, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to distress it and I'm not gonna do any extra to it because again, this is not a permanent, if, it, if this would be for a permanent decoration, then I, of course I would, but this is going to be just for the lemon party or the lemon gathering. So, you know, I don't have to go all there, but again, this is a very inexpensive, a very inexpensive uh, way to do a decorative plate and also, you can do this for other seasons, like the market, the in the market in the market calendar, they have um, a lot of prints. Okay, so this is the print we're gonna utilize. We're just going to rip it off. Ay! Oh no! <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna don't rip it off. Use your scissors. Okay, we're gonna use the scissors. Cause we still wanna preserve the other print. This one, maybe you can decoupage that print in, in a vase or something and it will be very cute for your farm, farmhouse decoration if you have that or just, just because. So we're gonna go around and we're gonna cut this is when your kindergarten and pre-K pre 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 and kindergarten skills comes handy. <laughs> it takes a little time. Okay, well, this is done. And we're gonna do a second, second layer of the paint to our plate. Hopefully it's dry enough. We're gonna do a oh, while. Well, my plate is going to be drying for the second time. We're gonna put it aside. And what we're going to do now, we're going to make our bows. We want a bow. Let me see, I have the, the decorative plate. I have the tear stand and I have the candy dispenser. And I am not gonna embellish the, the tier, the three tier, a stand, uh, no, the tier three tray. I'm not going to embellish that because it's, I think it's, it will be like just too much. 
So for the plate, we need, then we need um, two bows and one, I will say one little detail for the candy dispenser. I'm gonna cut, and again, I sometimes, I don't have one of those fancy bow makers. I usually eyeball it. And since this is gonna be just a simple bow, I'm gonna just make my first, hold it in the middle, fluff it out, push this down. And sometimes it, at, this mo at this time, you have to be a little rough with your ribbon because it's kind of, sometimes it, it, it wants to do, the ribbon wants to do what, what it wants to do and they don't, they don't follow instructions well. Okay, we're gonna cut, cut, cut. And you see, it's just a simple, simple ribbon right there. I'm using the twine to uh, secure it, not too much. You just want a little piece. I need new scissors, by the way. <laughs> Those scissors have seen a lot and have cut a lot. Okay, you secure it with a simple knot well, I double knot it just in case, cause I will double knot it. Okay, double knot it. And just to make it prettier, we're gonna take the ends. We take the ends and we cut in an angle down. And we're go this is what we want. We want this to look like this. And we're gonna do it in both ends. We cut again in an angle down. And that really adds up to the look of your bowl, okay? It really does. And you fluff it out and this is what you get. That's for me, that's a perfect bowl right there. But I wanna add up a little bit more. So I'm gonna take my bone white ribbon and this bone white roll, look at how much it is. I per This is not wired. This one is not wired. That's what I, why I'm gonna use it for the, for the embellishment of the bow. And I found this, this roll, it has a hundred yards. You know how many bows you can do with a hundred yards? Look at that. <laughs> I found it in a thrift store and I got two of these. I think it was for $2. And that's why I, I always tell my friends, you know, do not underestimate the thrift stores, don't underestimate the Dollar Tree or the dollar stores because you never know what you're gonna find. And sometimes you find very, very good deals, very economical, and then um, you take advantage of those sales and you know, you save money. Okay, you, I mean, I have used this ribbon for so much. Okay, we're gonna secure our tiny, I'm gonna make a tiny ribbon to go in the middle of it. And we're gonna use the extra twine that I have right here. And that's what I'm gonna secure it with it, okay? We're not gonna add up another twine because you add up and it shows. All right, so there you go, double knot it. Always secure your bows because you don't want, you know. Oh, look how pretty, all right, so now you Fluff it out, and what you do with your ends, you do what I taught you to, which is put it in an angle like that, and go down with your scissors. And you're gonna get like a little curve right there. Well, this one is not as much. Let me just do it more dramatically, so it will show up, okay. Maybe because I was doing it and trying to show you at the same time, that didn't work. Okay, now it worked. Look how pretty. And I'm gonna show you in a moment. Let me do the other one. 
and I'll show you the, the other one in a moment. Give me a second. Okay. There you go. Look how pretty that looks. And you fluff it and you make it pretty and girly. Look. Aww. Love it. Okay, so we have bow number one done. And I already pre-made my bow number two. So right now we're basically waiting for the plate to get dry and then we can continue with our craft. See you in a little bit. Okay, we're back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my print and believe it or not, I am not going to smother it with Mod Podge or anything. I'm going to use minimum paint, uh, glue, sorry. So I'm going to put just a little tiny dot of hot glue in the four corners. And that's it. Because we do not want the print to actually crinkle too much or have a, you know, like it's just like so. That's it. That's it. No more paint, no more nothing. The actual paper is really, really, really thin. And if you add anything else, it will not look good. Believe me, I already did. So I'm gonna glue my bow at the bottom with hot glue, fluff it out a little bit, not much. And look how it's looking already. I love it. Now I'm gonna get two of these I already cut them right here. And I'm gonna add the flower arrangements to this to each side of the bow. Ow. Okay, this is really hot glue. So be careful, don't burn yourself. Okay, so we're gonna just add a little glue and the floral. It's gonna come up like that. And in the other side, uh, we add glue. It's a tiny bit is enough in case you wanna reuse the flowers or reuse anything. I'm gonna put a little, little bit there. Hold it. And we are done. Let me just put a little bit here. And I just noticed that one of my, my, one of these is like taller than the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it to look equal. Okay. And that's pretty much it. See. And this is gonna be inside of my choreo. Okay. 